here. So, all right, if you're recording, I'm going to scoot that back so that you can see our table here a little bit so you can see our workspace. But we wanted to welcome everybody to our April DIY. And I have my good friend Angie helping tonight. Hello. So, okay. thank you, Angie, for welcome. stepping in. Um, Jen is usually with me, but she had a funeral to attend tonight, unfortunately. So um, Angie was gracious enough to step in and help out for the DIYs this month. So we are so happy to have her here. Happy and to be here. yay! Yeah. So let's dive right in. We are doing a bunch of green cleaning recipes this month. So these are some really fun recipes that you can make with your oils um, and they're just non-toxic. They're so much better for you than all of the commercial cleaners that are out there. Um, that's one thing that my family has really noticed. When my boys were little, they had asthma and they had a lot of breathing issues. And um, once we started cleaning up our home and getting rid of some of those toxic chemicals, they just, their health just drastically improved and they just didn't, weren't having all those breathing issues anymore. So we're so happy that we've discovered these oils and that we know how to use them and that we've been kind of just open-minded enough to try all of this stuff. You guys are work so well. So um, if you just have a minute to go ahead and mute your, your, uh, your mute, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> your sound, the volume. Yeah, the volume. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't think of that word. If you can mute your volume, um, if you have a question, by all means, go ahead and unmute. You can shout out a question, or if you want to raise your hand um, or type it in the chat too. We've got Stacey's helping out online as well, answering questions. So um, I see who is that? Another Stacy that just joined too. I thought it said Tammy for a second. I, it's hard to read. You guys are far away. But anyway, so thank you, Stacy, for jumping in and helping with the questions as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our first recipe. Uh, you should have gotten all of your recipes in a digital download um, when you ordered your DIY bundle from Whoop DIY. If you did not order that, if you already had all the materials, that's great. Uh, I did post the recipes in our event as well, so hopefully you have them there, but I'll just kind of shout out what we're doing here too. So the first one we're going to make is an all-purpose spray. This is great for your countertops, your sinks, your toilet, your bathroom, anything like that. Um, we are going to take a quarter cup of vinegar and uh, one teaspoon of liquid soap, and by liquid soap, I mean Castile soap. And so for shipping purposes, if you ordered our DIY bundle, we put those liquids in the bottle already because we're, we're still trying to figure out the best way to ship liquids to you guys. I know several people had um, some issues this month in particular with the little tubs of vinegar leaking. So I really apologize about that. Um, please be patient with us. We are trying to find the best method for shipping those liquids to you. But so for this recipe in particular, we have already put the vinegar and the Castile soap in there for you. So Angie is gonna add one and three fourths cup of water to the bottle. If you need a funnel, I have a funnel. Otherwise, if you, oh, she, you she, got right. <laughs> she didn't read the right, of the, of the right amount. So she's grabbing some more water. So you need one and three fourths cups of water that you are going to add to this bottle. I will say you may know relation. So when you mix the vinegar and the Castile soap together, it kind of coagulates a little bit and that's totally normal. Um, that's something that just happens as a reaction between the, the vinegar, which is an acid and the Castile soap, which is a base. I'm not a chemist, so I don't understand the whole ins and outs of all of that, but it kind of coagulates a little bit. That's completely normal. When we shake it up, it's going to uh, disperse in there and it'll be fine when you spray it on your countertops. So she just added the water. Uh, the only other thing we have to add is our essential oils. So for this recipe in particular, we're picking tea tree, sometimes known as melaleuca. That's like the formal name of it. We're doing 20 drops of tea tree oil, and then we're going to do 10 drops of on guard oil or a protective blend of essential oils. And the reason why we picked those in particular is because tea tree oil is really great antiviral, antifungal, anti-disinfectant, um, 
is really great for killing germs and killing bacteria. So that's why we want that oil in there when we're cleaning off surfaces in our home, right? We want to kill the germs. We want to get rid of all that nasty bacteria. And then the On Guard has some great oils in it as well. It's got tea tree, it has rosemary, eucalyptus, wild orange. What else is in there? Cloves. Oh, I love the smell of cloves. Yes. Seven. Yes, cinnamon bark. Yeah. It's it just smells really nice, like a, a fall kind of Christmassy smell. And combined with that tea tree, it just smells clean. You're not gonna smell like the nasty um toxic chemical kind of you know like a pine salt smell that we're used to this is going to smell fresh and clean and it's going to be effective so anytime you're making a recipe with essential oils you're going to give it a good shake like angie's doing here to combine all that stuff together and then it's going to be good to go another thing to note is if you bought our bundle in the bottom right hand corner you will find some labels some chalkboard labels. So you can label all of your bottles. Um, the best thing to do with the chalkboard labels, the best thing I found is a metallic Sharpie yes. works really well on these chalkboard labels or just like a metallic paint pen works really well too. So you can put your own little label on there, just label it all purpose cleaner. You can put the recipe on there if you want, that's up to you so that you can remake that. And um, I will say a little, uh, a little disclaimer here. Um, I have been using this all-purpose cleaner. I always test out all our, of our recipes first before we do these. I like this recipe. I have been using it a lot. However, <laughs> if I were to do it again, um, I prefer our On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. That's what we usually use in our household. Um, you can buy that through doTERRA. It's just one tablespoon of On Guard Cleaner Concentrate to 16 ounces of water. So it's super simple, even easier than this to make. And I just like the smell of it because it smells like that on guard oil. It doesn't really smell like the vinegar. You'll, you'll get more of a vinegar smell with this one. Again, still works great. But um, if I were to pick between the two, I would just do my typical on guard cleaner concentrate personally. The reason why we wanted to do this was because we wanted to show you how easy it is though to make um, something with the essential oils that you have. And we want you to be able to do that. So yay for that. That's your first one next. Yeah. Super simple. Look at that. Hey, you're a pro already. <laughs> so next we're gonna move on to the glass cleaner. That's the next recipe we have here, which is very similar to um, in, in what's in there to the all-purpose spray that we just made. So you're gonna take your eight ounce blue bottle, cobalt blue bottle, and in there is a quarter cup of vinegar already. And then you're gonna need three fourths of a cup of water. Maybe that's the one you were looking at before. Yeah, yeah. I guess this is the one. Oh, okay. So okay. you're gonna take three quarters of a cup of water. And then there's also one drop of dish soap in here. And it says dish soap, but what we used when we made this recipe was um, the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate again. So I just put one little drop of that in your bottles already for you. Um, again, because that's the best way to ship these liquids. So we're adding three fourths of a cup of water to that. And then as soon as she gets that in, who, nice job. It, it's got a few bubbles. Good. Yeah, <laughs> got a few bubbles, you're good. Um, and then we're gonna add 10 drops of lemon oil. So does anybody know why we chose lemon oil for a glass cleaner? If anybody knows, you can go ahead and unmute yourself or you can type it in the chat at the bottom of the screen if you wanna do that. There you go. Yeah, I think it's oh, right, right top. Yeah, you're good. Um, so does anyone want to guess why we use lemon oil for this one? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and do you want to guess why we did the lemon oil? What are some things that lemon's good for? Cleaning. There you go. It's a cleansing. If we're cleaning, yeah, absolutely. It's great for cutting grease. So you know how we get the little fingerprints, little kid fingerprints on the glass or little dog slobbers and things like that. This lemon oil cuts right through that nastiness and gets rid of it in this glass cleaner. This is an awesome recipe. I've been using this one for quite a while. 
I use it on our glass doors. I use it on mirrors. Um, it's wonderful for just anything glass, really. Um, I've actually used it on our, like, I'll put it on a microfiber rag and use it to clean our iPads and stuff too. Because vinegar, yeah. In a, yeah, vinegar in and of itself has a lot of antibacterial properties too. So um, that's a great one to, or that's a great way to use that oil as well. So yeah, you're just going to want to use that with a microfiber cloth, like it says on your recipe sheet here, so that it doesn't leave streaks, and it works really, really nicely. I hope you guys love that recipe. It smells really good and fresh and clean with that lemon oil. Lemon is used a lot in different cleaners. Like, just think about the cleaners you get at the store, too, like with Pledge yeah, or yeah. Pine Sol right. or uh, Windex. A lot of those are lemon-flavored flavors right, scented. <laughs> lemon, lemon scented already please don't drink those because you will not like the effects of that so this one you actually could drink if you like vinegar but I don't know why you'd want to do that okay so moving on we are going to do our stainless cleaner this is a question we get quite often um how do we clean our stainless steel how do we keep those fingerprints off how do we get that just nice and shiny like it was when we very first got our appliances and that's so super nice. tough to do yeah it's, it looks so nice but it's super tough to do especially when you got little kids running around or big kids and big yeah. adults they <laughs> no little kids in the house all over. they are everywhere Dogs. sometimes yeah. they lick little drips and stuff off of there so this stainless cleaner works really really well and you guys are going to be blown away at how simple it is all it is is four ounces of vinegar again we've put that in the bottle for you um, I like to keep stuff out of the containers as much as possible when we make these so that you guys can do the DIYs. but again with the liquids there, there really wasn't another option for this so I already added that four ounces of vinegar for you all you're going to do is take your lemon oil and add 20 drops of lemon oil to that and it works fabulous you guys so what I've been doing is I take my all-purpose spray and if there's like big sticky you know like jelly peanut butter and jelly running down the refrigerator or big like chunks of stuff I'm spraying it off with my all-purpose spray kind of wiping it down and then I take the stainless spray give it a good shake and then spritz that on the stainless and again you're going to take like a microfiber cloth and then wipe it in the direction of the grain of the stainless steel. So, you know, the grain kind of sometimes goes up and down or sometimes it goes sideways. You're just gonna wipe in the direction of the grain and you'll be surprised at how much that polishes up. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. So, really nice. Yeah, so that's three down. And what are we, what are we? We're like 15 minutes in. <laughs> so we're rocking through these right now. This is awesome. All right, so that is the stainless cleaner. I'll pause for just a second and see if anybody has any questions. I know we're going kind of fast here, but any questions so far for us? How does she look so beautiful? Is that <laughs> the question? Yes, sure. She's Finish in more detail. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So sweet. Thank you. Come back. On our list is the scrubbing paste. So let's go ahead and make that. For this one, you're going to grab your bag of baking soda, the half a cup. So you can just dump this in here if you want. So we're going to take half a cup of baking soda. Um, you're going to use one tablespoon of vinegar. So you should have gotten a little jello shot container of <laughs> vinegar. Hopefully it did not leak for you. If it did, again, I, I really apologize about that. We are trying to, to find the best way to do that. It's going to bubble up a little bit when you add that vinegar to the baking soda. That's totally normal. It's a fun sound. I know, isn't it? It fizzes <laughs> up a little bit. That's how you, you know you're going to be bubbling those germs away when you use this. Um, and then you're going to use your one tablespoon of Castile soap. Again, Fanna. <laughs> Again, that'll be in a jello shot container. You don't want to do a shot of that, but <laughs> you're going to pour that in there and just kind of mix that around. Um, we're looking for the consistency of like a wet sand here. So once you mix it all up, it'll kind of start clumping together a little bit. That's what we're looking for. Um, and then we're going to add our essential oils to it. So we are going to add five drops of lemon and five drops of lime. 
We already talked about lemon being able to cut grease. It's great. Just lemon oil in and of itself is really good to use for stickers. When you have like a price tag stuck on something or the kiddos put stickers on the windows or on a, a, you know in the car or just anything that you need to get something sticky off, go grab your lemon oil. Put a couple drops of that on there and it will dissolve that sticky stuff right away. It's better than Goo Gone. Um, it doesn't have anything toxic in it. It's just pure lemon essential oil. It's amazing, right? It's also really great for cleaning your produce too. I don't know if you guys do that, yes, but do. whenever we go to the grocery store during the week, we'll bring our produce home and throw it in the sink uh, with just a little splash of vinegar. And then I'll put like three or four drops of the lemon oil in there and just let like my berries and um, strawberries, grapes, anything with like a skin that you're gonna be eating. We'll let those soak for a little bit. And then I just rinse them off, let them air dry. And that lemon not only kind of breaks down the waxes and pesticides and all the junk that's on your, your fruits, but it actually is a natural preservative. So it's gonna help your fruit and your veggies last longer too. So that is a cool little tip. And she's adding the lemon and lime, five drops each. Lime, again, another citrus oil, great for cutting grease, great for cutting through like the hard water stains. So this scrubbing paste is really good to use. Um, some of the places I've been doing it like around my sink, my stainless sink in the kitchen. Uh, I used it in the bathroom sink around the faucets. You know how you kind of get like a little bit of that hard water build up sometimes right around the faucets. Another thing that's great to remove that hard water um, build up from like your faucets is just taking a little container of vinegar. Uh, I actually saw this on a TikTok life hack, but <laughs> they took like a Ziploc baggie of vinegar and just put it over the faucet uh, with a rubber band and let that soak for like, <clears throat> excuse me, for like 20 minutes. And then it just dissolves that hard water stuff and the gunk comes right off. If you have like an old toothbrush or something, you can kind of scrub it away. And it's really, really easy to just clean up your faucets and make them work like new and the spray will come up so much better when you do that. Um, so she's, she's got that all combined in there and then we're just going to throw it in the little four ounce amber jar. I'm glad that you brought that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so throw that in your four ounce amber jar and, um, when you go to use it, you can use like a popsicle stick or just a little, a narrow spoon if you have it to kind of scrape a little bit of that out, put it wherever you want to use it. And then you can just um, scrub it with, you know, a washcloth or a, a wet rag, a wet sponge, or depending on what it is, like if you want to use this in your shower, maybe on the shower floor, if you have that kind of like bumpy shower floor, oh, like yeah, we that would do, because sometimes it just gets kind of nasty. It starts to get that like um, orange film on it, which is bacteria um, that's growing from your shower because your shower is, is wet and moist all the time and it doesn't dry out real good in there sometimes. So it starts to get that little orange layer. This works perfectly for that. Just put a little bit down on those areas, take an old toothbrush or an old scrub brush and that will come right off. And it's again, all natural stuff that you made with your essential oils is healthy. You're not going to be choking on the fumes. It's actually good for you. And it's uplifting to be breathing in these citrus oils. So. It's so great right now. I know, right? So what, what better, what better could you get, right? How about that? Better right. you get? And I love lime. So one of my favorite oils. I know a lot of people put lime in like Moscato and sweet wines. I'm not a big wine person, so I don't drink a whole lot of wine, but um, yeah, a lot of people like to put a little drop of a lime in their wine. Get it all in here. Oh, that's okay. She's so, so she has a little it. bit of extra. You might have a little bit extra left over. That's okay. That you can get a bonus. Um, I don't think so. Okay. I think we're done with that. Yep, we're done with that bowl. Okay. So you may have a little bit left over, like we did. That's fine. You can just use that after we're done with our video. <laughs> after we're done with our class, you can go and use that first. All right. So that's the scrubbing paste. Easy peasy. Next one is even easier. This is yeah. going to be our carpet refresher. Have you made this I one love before? This. Yes, I have awesome. made it multiple right. times. Yeah, so you can kind of switch the scents up on this depending on how you're feeling. You're gonna take your one cup of baking soda, should be, if you got your bundles, should be all labeled for you and ready to go. 
You're going to dump that into your eight ounce plastic jar. Um, and then, like I said, you can switch up the scents on this. A lot of times I'll do lemon. Sometimes I'll do the tea tree oil uh, if I just want to have like a fresh, clean scent. But for this one, we picked wild orange and grapefruit. Two Wonderful. of my favorite citrus oils. Oh, orange it, smells so good. Yes. And I don't think there's anybody who doesn't like these ones, honestly. I mean, you're just going to add 10 drops of wild orange, 10 drops of grapefruit to or that. 11. Or 11. 11 <laughs> drops if you want. However many drops you want. It's your oils. You can use whatever you want. If you want to throw a whole bottle in there, you can. Um, so we just got a new sectional a couple weeks ago, and as we pulled our old couch out, I went and, of course, vacuumed the whole living room and uh, made everything fresh and new for this new sectional to come in. But I made a couple batches of the carpet refresher, and I was sure to sprinkle that over the carpet. You want to let it sit for maybe 20 or 30 minutes just to kind of um, soak in any odors. So baking soda in and of itself, great for soaking up odors and getting remo removing odors. So if you have any kind of pet stains or um, if your pet has an accident, throwing some baking soda on it right away is a great way to make sure it's not going to be leave a yucky smell. So um, just that will soak up any of those odors and then the orange and the grapefruit just kind of freshen everything up make it smell really really nice and then we vacuumed that all up before we got our out. So that's great yeah yeah that was okay. probably the easiest one all we did was add our oils so we'll save with the yes. stainless cleaner right yes and the grapefruit is a good idea because i use the orange all the time but i've never had the, the grapefruit in yeah i love the grapefruit it's just a little bit sweeter that's actually probably my favorite um of the citrus oils to put in my water too it is and i don't like grapefruit but oh really i love the grapefruit in my water huh that's, that's funny a lot of people say that though they don't like the actual grapefruit fruit to eat but the grapefruit oil they'll do in their water because it tastes totally different and it just tastes fresh and good and clean and it helps you with the sugar and carb cravings too so which is great because i need that i know sugar same, addict. same yeah i have an issue with that too so we are on to our last one already and this is going to be our magic sponge so Yay. this is a super fun one i'm actually going to jump over here and heat up some water because for this one we want some hot water well do you do it okay. it's just right there um so angie's going to do that we probably have to do it for like three minutes or so um so she's throwing some water how much water is it a half a cup of hot water into or she's throwing some cold water into the microwave <laughs> to warm it up um and we forgot to do that a few minutes ago because yes. we were going to have that ready but that's okay we'll just pause here and we'll talk to you guys for a few minutes and one thing that i did want to know and a question that i wanted to ask the crowd tonight was what kind of recipes would you guys like to see is there anything that we haven't done yet that you're hoping that we do maybe in a future bundle. So I am so open to suggestions. It's fun finding recipes, but I would love to hear from you guys. And if there's anything that you'd like us to try, go ahead and let me know, shout it out. I don't know what kind of bundles you've done. So I I'm open for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see if I can get the previous recipes that we've made. Yeah. Okay. A couple of months and I'll get that over to you. I'm trying to All think right. what we've done. We've done like a, the water bead air freshener. That was a really popular one. We did an itch stick, the winter skin balm. We Those did a, were great. a DIY candle in yes. January. Um, did we do a bath soap? That's what it was, yes. In February, we did a massage oil. If, uh, we haven't done a linen spray yet, I don't think. Um, a spa day um, session would be great. That would be yeah. super fun. Yeah, that would be really fun. Um, I know we attempted to do a body butter, but we still haven't found quite the right recipe there. Like everything that we've tried out either is too oily or the consistency just didn't fluff up the way we were yeah. expecting it to. So we're still kind of working on, on that recipe and playing around with some of those. 
but hopefully we'll we'll get you a body butter in the future. Um, but it would be fun, like you said, Pat, or Pat, yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. um, do a, a spa day one with like maybe like a lip scrub and maybe we could do like a, um, a bath salt, a sugar scrub. Right. What else would we do? But I would, oh, there's a, like a detangler. I've seen a, a recipe on doTERRA's blog for a hair yeah. detangler. Well, I use, I may even be out there. Heat treatment spray. The straightening hair. Oh, nice. I've been using that for a free for three years. Oh, oh wow. wow. What oils does that one have? Do you remember? It calls for geranium, but geranium is very floral and it's very, very strong, even though it only asks for a couple of drops. It's less than five, but it's so super strong. So, Jen says that she substituted the Roman chamomile instead, and it's great. Awesome. I love that. Um, Roman chamomile is really good for just like soothing. So I can yeah. see why that would be a really good one yeah. for the hair spray. Super great. The hair protectant spray. Maybe you do a seasonal um, air scent and something along that lines, you know, that you could put in different rooms that, that would coordinate with yeah. each other. We did like the little air bead or the water bead air freshener, and that would be a good one. I mean, you could switch up the oils and put um, put that in, you know, whatever room you wanted. You could put whatever oils you wanted in there too. But I'm wondering, it, it might be kind of fun to do like a reed diffuser or something. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, and it look cool. Yeah, just something different. Maybe I guess I would. I was thinking like if you did a. Um... Christmas holiday one that maybe in the kitchen it's more cinnamony and stuff like that but what would you put in the bathroom that might be a little still Christmassy but different yeah. and what would you put in a um guest room you know yeah just something different kind of each room of the house that's a great idea right. that's, a, mm -hmm. that's a good idea that way you would definitely notice the smell when you went from yeah. room to room. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like I'm so weird about that because when I do my diffusers at home they all have to match, oh, no. but we have like a pretty open space. So like, I feel like you can't walk from this room to this room that's right next to me and have a different scent, even though you totally can, but I'm just like weird about that. I like on one floor, like yeah. they pretty much all match. The bathroom might be different sometimes, but uh, in the open space, mine all match all the time. I know other people are like, they'll throw this in here and that in there. And I have usually some go to the kitchen one and the living room has one, but yeah. they don't always have to do the same. It all I do care. though. <laughs> I am all about diffusing. Okay. So we have our hot water. So what we are going to do for this one is you're going to take your melamine sponge. That's just such a fun word to say. Uh, which is your little package. If you have this, it's like one of the, I'm gonna say Mr. Yeah. Clean magic, magic erasers. erasers, but we're calling ours a magic sponge so we don't steal their, their word. But these just feel so cool. They're like just so soft and squishy and I just love the feeling of that. So that is called a melamine sponge. You are going to take your little tablespoon of uh, baking soda. Yeah, a tablespoon of baking soda. You should have a little baggie of that if you got the bundle. You're going to dump that in a container, any kind of container, um, preferably glass if you have it. If not, you can use plastic, a plastic container. You just want to make sure it has a number one or a number two on the bottom uh, little triangle circle. Stacy was super smart and reused her body butter container, her doTERRA body butter round thing because she knows that if it came from doTERRA, that plastic is going to be safe to use with essential oils. Mm -hmm. If it has any number other than a one or a two on the bottom of it, it's not safe for essential oils. And the essential oils are actually going to break that plastic down. So I was looking through our cabinet earlier today at all of our Tupperware and our Rubbermaid stuff. They are all number five plastic. So that is not okay to use with essential oils. So we're just using like a little Pyrex glass yeah. dish here. You just want it to be something that you can cover. Okay. So Stacy, that was perfect to reuse your, your body butter container. So we're gonna take our baking soda, one tablespoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of borax. You're gonna combine those in the bowl. You might need a little spoon here. Let me grab a little spoon for you. Okay. So just kind of mix those up real well. And then you're gonna pour a half a cup of hot water into that mixture, okay? So that it um, dissolves. 
You just want to stir that up until it's dissolved pretty good and there's no like big chunks left <laughs> of that borax takes a minute to dissolve but um, with that hot water if you stir it around for a minute it'll start to kind of dissipate a little bit and then once that starts to dissolve all we're going to do is add our purify essential oil for this one purify is our cleansing blend it's got several different oils in this it has lemon it has siberian fir citronella which i think it smells the most like citronella has lime tea tree and cilantro all of those oils are in here all great for cleansing again great for antibacterial antiviral Purify is great to add or to apply to a bug bite. If you get a bug bite or really? like a spider bite, that. mosquito bite, it kind of takes that itch away right away. So remember that this summer, if you're getting bit, if you forget to use your uh, bug spray, that's another one that we have coming up in a future month is a natural bug spray. So you're gonna add three drops of the Purify oil to your liquid mixture. Kind of stir that around again and then just throw your sponge into that bowl or container and make sure it's good and soaked and then it'll be ready to use whenever you want to use it now this one is great to use on your door frames uh, i did it around our garage door you know on like the white door frames around the doors on the edges of walls where people are walking by and putting their hands on the light switches, on uh, any kind of door handles, the door jam down on a sliding glass door, in a windowsill, any of those places are great to use this magic sponge. And you can get several uses out of it. It will kind of start to um, disintegrate or kind of break down. break down after you use it a few times. One other thing I used it on was the stove, like the stove top. We have a glass top stove and around the knobs on the stove where stuff gets kind of sticky on there sometimes and in the microwave, great place to use that as well. So when you put it in that bowl, it's going to kind of soak that liquid up. Pretty quick too. Pretty quick. It soaks all that liquid up, kind of gets fun. all that good, <laughs> the good cleaning of power into the sponge. And then you're just going to wring it out into the bowl before you use it, wipe down whatever area if you're going to use it on, and then you can just keep reusing it until it kind of breaks apart and then um, you'll just make a new one. So that is it. Super easy. I will give you one little tip on that too. So going up our upstairs, the boys always drag their hands along the wall. <laughs> so there's like these little handprints going all up the stairs and it's so gross. And the way the light hits it, I can always see it. So I went and hit that wall, the painted wall with the sponge and I wiped it all over the place. I'm like, oh, this thing rocks. It's getting rid of all these handprints and stuff. And then I went back like an hour later and there's like all these marks along the painted wall. <laughs> and actually my husband Lenny saw it and he's like, what happened in here? What happened to this wall? And I was like, right away when he said that, I was like, oh, I knew it was something that I did when I was testing out this recipe and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly where I wiped with this sponge. <laughs> so I went back over it with just a damp, wet washcloth with just water and it wiped right away. And what it was just like a residue from the baking soda. Right. That's all it was. So just make sure you might have to go over it with just a plain wet rag, but don't freak out <laughs> if it leaves like a little bit of a, a residue behind. It'll wipe away with just a washcloth and a a wet rag so that's my little tip on that one <laughs> i did freak out i was like oh my gosh oh, what, did I do? <laughs> what did i do to this but yeah so this Perfect. is why we test out all the stuff things. so that you guys know the good stuff you don't have to freak out i do that for you <laughs> so yeah you're welcome that's what i'm here for awesome well is are there any questions did we cover all of your questions on any of the green cleaning recipes. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite to make? What do you think you're going to use the most? Well, I'm definitely going to use the carpet cleaner. Mm -hmm. Probably going to go on as soon as I get home. <laughs> nice. um, but I'm super excited to try the paste. Yeah, I think that was fun. It was easy to make. And I can't wait to try to use it, use it and see how it plays out my best. 
Uh, up in my shower. Yay! Super awesome. Cool. I'm glad you're excited for it. And stainless steel cleaner. Who yes. doesn't like stainless steel? I know, cleaner? right? Yeah, you guys will have to let me know. Report back and let me know. <laughs> Everybody should be house should be sparkling clean after this yeah. weekend. We'll give you a few days to get on it. <laughs> now that you have all your stuff, but um, yeah, all of our houses should be nice and clean. Close your eyes. Don't look around. <laughs> Is I there one mine yet either? <laughs> well, is there these, one? Is there one of these that's a that you would use as a floor cleaner, and that would work on porcelain tile? Great question, Pat. Uh, so the all-purpose cleaner, I would probably use that. So I don't know what kind of mop or cleaner you use now for your floors, but. I've got a steam cleaner that I love. That's a whole nother story. If anybody <laughs> knows me, you know, I'm like obsessed with this steam cleaner that I found on Amazon, super cheap. So what I do though with my steam cleaner is I take the all-purpose spray and I'll spray a couple of spritzes on the floor and then steam mop over it. Or even if you don't have a steam mop, I mean, you could just mop over it. But um, I would say the all-purpose cleaner is probably gonna be your best bet. If you have like grout, and you know um like a indentation yeah you could maybe use the scrubbing paste you might have to get down on your hands and knees with your scrubbing paste and take like an old brush or old uh a scrub brush or a, even an old toothbrush um and get in that grout but i i bet you anything that will really really help get all the the gunk up from you know those those spots the well, I actually have one of those vacuum uh, scrubber combination, you know, floor units. And so I'm wondering if that'll work in that because <clears throat> usually you have to purchase something because, you know, that particular product's soap that they make so it doesn't over bubble. Right. Uh, yeah. Otherwise it yeah. foams on the floor. For sure. I would just double check. Um, it might be kind of hard to find on your, the plastic portion of the whatever kind of reservoir holds your soap or your cleaner. Um, mm -hmm. check and see if you can find the little recycle triangle and see if it has a number one or a two. If it doesn't, you can always contact the manufacturer maybe and see if you can get that information from them and just see what kind of plastic it is. If it doesn't have the one or two, I would not suggest putting yeah. oils or cleaners in there unless it's coming from them because uh, we have a rainbow vacuum. I don't know if you've heard of those, but it's yes. like your purifier vacuum system. When I first right. got into oils like five years ago, I took some lemon oil and put it in the water basin of my rainbow and it did hit, it did kind of mess up uh, that, that plastic and it made it all cloudy looking and just kind of there's like little pits little holes kind of in the plastic not holes enough to leak through but it did kind of wreck the plastic in there so just be really careful with it especially if it's a um inexpensive cleaner or mop that you got you know you don't want to right you know, by putting something in there that shouldn't be so just check with the manufacturer and see if you can find out what kind of plastic it is and if it's safe to use if it okay. if it is one or two you should be good to go with any of these Awesome. Any other questions we have before we say goodbye tonight? You guys are an easy crowd. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you again, Angie, for coming and helping me. I really, really appreciate it. You did all the work tonight. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, now you get to go home and um, throw your carpet refresher down and just spruce up your house and your stainless and right have a perfectly spring clean house ready for the weekend. Yeah, I figure at 743, it's a great time to start. <laughs> yeah, no, not tonight. Not tonight. Do it tonight. Saturday. There you go. All right, ladies. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we hope that you come back again next month. Uh, we don't know what we're doing yet. Maybe I do, but I forgot because I can't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, we hope to see you back next month and we will talk to you guys soon. We'll post the recording for this in our group so that if people weren't here tonight, they can still go back and watch and get some tips on how to make their stuff. So happy cleaning, everybody. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Bye. We'll see Bye. You later. Bye.